what a mess. This year we've had some high water levels. So you can see the stock here is actually completely underwater at the top end. I'm launching the boat by myself. So it's kind of important to be able to have a handle to secure the boat. So I still have it attached to the truck, the trailer. So I'm just going to disconnect it and then you'll see me walk it back and uh, use these two nice devices to lock it exactly into place. I'm walking it back and you can see this dock has a couple of cleats but they're kind of odd location for my boat. So what I'm going to do is use these things, the easy docker, and uh, I'm going to put it into place where I want it, turn it and lock it. You can see we've got some waves from boats coming and I have a short section, a short lead because I want the boat to be tight. So this is perfect because I can adjust it to however I want. I'm going to do the same thing with this one that I've got right here. I'm going to try putting it right back here. And it should be perfect. Just have to find the right spot. I'm actually going to move it there. So even though we've got commotion and stuff, and there is no eye bolts on this dock, the easy docker, look at even from the tension of the waves, look at how that spring is working nicely. So there's no problem in holding in the position. You know, I encounter these situations all the time. You look at the this array of the stock, and there's only, you know, there's one eye bolt over there. I can't reach it, and if I can, it won't protect the side of my boat because it's going to swing out too far. So the easy docker is a great system to use, even when you're dealing with really bad docks or even a good dock. And they come in three eighths diameter, the actual uh, metal that goes in between the slats, or a quarter inch. So it's ideal for boating, and especially if you like fishing and you launch on your own. I'll be right back. I got to park. <laughs>